Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising of cancers. I do want to let you guys know the way I'm uploading the videos. The videos that have the most views or the most comments are going to be one of the first videos to come up on my channel. So definitely show some support to your sign by sharing, liking, and commenting on the videos, okay? Also, if you guys are interested in private consultations in candle magic or anything to do with spell work, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my email on there so you can contact me in reference to that, okay? Also, um, I want to give a big shout out to Diane Morosco. She is one of my private clients. Um, she's an amazing woman. I thank you so very much, sweetheart. She sent me this coffee mug that says Bruja, which in English means witch which I am obsessed with. Thank you, sweetheart. You are so thoughtful. She sent that for Hollows Eve, and it was a complete surprise to me. Um, thank you very much, sweetheart. I highly encourage you guys to check out her books. She's an amazing author, a very inspirational woman. Check her out on Amazon, Diane Morasco. So let's get into this reading. Um, again, like I said, this is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get into this reading. I had already been shuffling the cards, but as you guys know, I love live shuffling, so you guys know that I don't prepare everything. Um, these are the messages that come through through Spirit, okay? So let's get into your reading, Cancers. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2017. Also, disclaimer, if my voice sounds a little bit more raspy than usual, I apologize. It's been an extremely long day, a lot of consultations, a lot... <laughs> A lot of videos, um, etc. So it might go out, or it may sound a little bit more raspier than usual. So apologize for that. Let's get into your reading, Cancer, 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 Cancer. cancer. What are the messages for Cancers for the month of November 2017? November 2017. One more. Okay. Here we go. Let's get into your reading, Cancers. All right, your first card is the Knight of Swords. Second card is the Strength card. The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Judgment card. Okay. The Eight of Swords, the Justice card, the Ten of Wands. Oh, the Ten of Swords. What's going on, Cancers? My lovely Cancers, what's going on? The Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. General energy for the month of November is the Moon card. Okay. All right, Cancers. So, as a general energy, the Moon card reveals to us that not everything is the way it seems. Okay? You guys need to pay very close attention to that as it represents things being hidden from you, people coming towards you with a facade or pretending to be something they are not, okay? Be very careful in regards to that. Don't be very quick to trust people. I know cancers usually do not trust very easily, um, but the moon card could be a representation of you being deceived or you being guided to believe something that isn't, okay? So be very watchful of that. The moon can also represent being tied up or being... Um, almost in the delusional type of phase so if you guys have been dealing with a person that goes and comes into your life as they please okay you need to be careful with that because what you're doing is you are being wrapped up into the illusion of hoping that they're going to change and the moon is here to tell you that even though it is in darkness the moon still shines light into the situation it's you the one that decides or chooses not to see things for what they really are so be very careful with that cancers okay now if this is you the one that's taking on the energies of being the manipulator or being the person that is pretending to be something they're not or misleading people again be very careful with that as the moon card does represent magic and it can represent that which we have basically earned, which is called karma. So be careful with that, Cancers. Let's get into your reading. So you do have the Page of Wands here. Sorry, the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is definitely a stockish type of energy. And this is a person from your past as the Strength card is there. It's someone you pulled away from, someone that it took you... Um, 
It could have been a fire sign. So fire sign would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Um, and the strength card, again, could be a representation of them. But it can also be a representation that, it, you know, that you literally had to have strength in order to pull away from that situation. Now, the Six of Pentacles here is a representation of the give and take, the exchange, uh, the charity card. But it can also represent the fact of you overdoing or them overdoing and being taken for granted. Perhaps it was you the one that was being taken for granted. Or again, if you vibrate to the shadow side of cancer, it could be you the one that's been a little bit manipulative. Be careful with that. You do have the Nine of Swords here, and the Nine of Swords speaks about anxiety, not being able to sleep, not being able to uh, cope with the changes that are happening at the present time. And it could be also having to do with the past, as the Judgment card is here. Right under the Judgment card um, and the Nine of Swords is the Ten of Swords, okay? So this is positive, and I'm going to tell you why as soon as I'm able to pick this card up for some reason. It doesn't want to get up. It doesn't want to come up. Okay. Oh, my goddess. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so the Nine of Swords here is a representation of having anxiety. So there is definitely anxiety attached to a person that you dealt with from the past. It could have been a person that was uh, violent. It could have been a person that was under the influence of any type of alcohol or addictions as well. And the Nine of Swords, again, like I said, has a lot to do with anxiety. Uh, you're all in your head at the present time, Cancer. Try the best you can to be very careful about that. Try the best you can to ground yourself or to, you know, do some type of meditation that's going to keep you uh, grounded, which is very needed at the present time because I do feel a lot of anxiety. And this anxiety is definitely coming from the past, a person from the past, someone you fear. Uh, it could be also, for those of you Cancers that um, perhaps have a parent, whether it's a mother or a father that is going through uh, some type of addiction issues that, uh, you know, you're starting to see red flags or family members are starting to speak to you in reference to, you know, them seeing them a little bit different or a little bit odd and the worry, the worry still present of, oh my God, you know, they, they probably started using or whatever it may be, but it's definitely bringing you anxiety and it has to do directly from the past as the judgment card is here. Now, the positive thing here is, with the Nine of Swords, that anxiety is co it's coming to a culmination, okay? But the Ten of Swords does promise the end. It's the end. Like, you've been through the ringer and the worst has already happened. Moving forward, you go to the Ace, which is truth coming out, okay? From the Ten, you go to the Ace, which is truth, honesty, and clarity, so again, if you've been having anxiety in regards to a person from your past, someone that may have been uh, prone to addictions or something like that, and you fear them reaching out to you or coming towards you, or family members are telling you that perhaps they started using whatever the, whatever the situation may be, know and understand that the worst has already happened, okay? The Ten of Swords is here. It's already happening in the near future, meaning in the coming weeks. Uh, it's going to come to a culmination. It's going to come to an end. So know and understand that, okay? Be very mindful about that and try the best you can, again, like I said, to be grounded. Uh, there's no point in us stressing over situations that at the present, at the very now, at this second, we can do nothing about. So there's no point into having anxiety in regards to that, okay? So that was the negative part of the reading. Let's move forward. Now, you do have the Ace of Swords here, but the Ace of Swords feeling stuck, feeling hidden, feeling like you're just caged, basically. You're not moving forward. The Justice card is here, and the Justice card is next to the Ten of Wands. So what this represents is there's a lot of endings for you, Cancers. You guys are ending and putting ends to the past. You're finally letting the past lay to rest. Um... You're being able to detach yourself from situations, from toxic people. You're able to walk away from all of that as you do have two tens here. And the ten of wands is the culmination of anxiety, of burdens, of worries, basically. So there's two endings right next to the justice card. If you felt at any point that in the past three months you were put in a situation, whether it was relationship-wise, they did you wrong and they were the ones that were the, manipula the manipulators, 
if you felt that you were being treated unjustly, finally karma is going to catch up to them, okay? The justice card here next to the two tens is endings. It's cutting, putting the sword down and cutting through everything that no longer serves you. And finally, universe restoring that which is good karma for you. Now, if this is you, the one that has been manipulative towards other people, know and understand that the blockages you're currently going through or you're currently living have a lot to do with the karma that you've created and that you're carrying uh, with yourself in your body or in your spirit. Know that and understand that. The way to do the best you can is to move forward, trying the best you can to uh, be good to people and be honest. Do not mislead them. Do not promise them things you cannot um, honor. Okay, that's something very important. Now, the three of pentacles here, again, for some of you guys, it could have been a representation of that you found out that someone that you were currently dealing with, whether it was a Leo, whether it was an Aries or Sagittarius, you find out that this person was actually double dealing, dating you and dating someone else, someone from their past as the judgment card is here. And it comes to the culmination. It comes up and the justice card is here to say, you know what? Finally, justice is going to be served. Either they get caught, you catch them or you hear that they are double dealing, that they are dealing with other people and you're walking away from that relationship. Now you do have the nine of cups here. The nine of cups is the nine, the wish fulfillment card, but it also represents emotional fulfillment. And next to that, you have the eight of pentacles. So if you've been, again, like I said, if you've been struggling cancers when it comes to money and finances, if you haven't been able to find a job, for instance, there's an opportunity coming through with this nine of cups here at the center, which is a wish fulfillment. If you've been hoping for stability, for growth and advancement, that's definitely coming through. Again, like I said, it is necessary for you to cut out the people that no longer serve you. Okay. What I mean by that is anyone that brings you down, anyone that creates or adds on to your anxiety, that's not a good person. Okay. Try the best you can to elevate your vibration, not to resonate from the shadow side. Now you do have the seven of wands here next to the eight of wands. So if you've been arguing and fighting back and forth with an earth sign, an earth sign would be a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn. I feel that communication is going to be open as the eight of wands is next to the seven of wands. I feel that for some of you guys that are dealing or have been dealing with an earth sign, um, particularly probably a Taurus or a Capricorn. And for some reason, it seems like, you know, universe just keeps bringing you guys together but also pulling you guys away know and understand that there's a purpose for it a lot of the times the people that come into our lives are not necessarily on the same life path that we are sometimes we are more evolved sometimes they are more evolved and when there is immaturity at some point um, we have to go our separate ways in order to learn that so again understand that now the seven of wands here being represented next to the eight of wands I feel that for a lot of you cancers there's a lot of emotions going on for you guys um, emotions in regards to this earth sign and I feel that there's a need of communication or there's a need of clarity um, my best advice is the seven of wands always represents to me a person that fears being let down so that's the reason why they keep their guard up but there is a need for you to communicate that and the reason for that is because communicating that will be able to give ease to that person that is a have been dealing with back and forth and this is a person that has been constant in your life whether it was through chaos whether it was through difficulties or whether it was through blessings that person just kept being prominent in your life um it's necessary for you to speak up in regards to your feelings for this person as you do have the six of wands here and the six of wands is victory but it can also represent accolades it can also represent people noticing or this person that you've been dealing with for a while uh, you know, perhaps it hasn't moved forward for some of you guys. It hasn't materialized into a long-term relationship and it's probably to do with your fears and the fears that they have. But again, if that communication is open, there is opportunity for wish fulfillment here for working towards achieving something long-term and finally being able to release any fears and move forward in a very quick way. Okay. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Like, comment, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And like I said, do not forget to give uh, some love and support to your sign by commenting, liking, and sharing, okay? We will see each other in the middle of the month uh, for the love readings. Bye.